what's going on guys long time no see hope everybody's enjoying themselves and hopefully everybody's keeping themselves safe healthy and we all know the drill what's going on throughout the world so just want to make sure everyone is a a okay um it's it's just a lot it is a lot um what have i been doing well <clears throat> I've been keeping myself pretty busy and you know right off the bat uh, I still am fortunate to still be working at my full-time job it's a little bit slow well it's slow and we're starting to see that it's picking up a little bit more which is a good thing uh, and of course I have my side hustles that I have been going on and which if you're catching up on my Instagram for, for those that you are um, been keeping myself busy with uh, cars <clears throat> I just recently did a timing chain on, on, a, on a Pathfinder that went very well um, I learned a lot on that and working on neighbors cars family cars w w you name it like I just been busy on top of family what have I been doing with the XRS well Brake calipers are being painted at the moment. Uh, this driver's side, they're already done. As you can see, right here on front two. And I'm currently working on the passenger side. And it's very, very time consuming on top of everything that's been going on. And it's 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 interesting for myself to be learning a lot of what's of of everything that's that's just happening with the whole worldwide you know sickness that's going on and everybody for the most part you know being off of work or not working it's just it's just a lot to intake especially with you know keeping yourself safe um <clears throat> I've been doing quite a lot. I cleaned up my backyard, which is pretty clean. Um, my my roof has been leaking, so I've done that. And of course, I got that. Um, it's it's quite a lot for me to say that I sold the wagon. The Honda wagon and I got this this is more practical it's a lot more comfortable for me to get my kids in um, and I, I basically got it for the fact that it's sometimes I have to carry my kids around when the wife has to do an errand or she has to do something and every once in a blue moon I have to take him and do whatever I have to do to run an errand also so that being the case I I got this Pretty clean, clean Volvo XC90. Five cylinder turbo. Um, it's pretty well kept for the most part. There's a couple of things I need to do, suspension work. These Volvos have a factory oil catch can, which is hiding right beneath the intake. It's actually called uh, PCV Airbox. So I need to replace that. Um, some suspension work, some brakes. And it's basically a daily <coughs> to replace the Honda. Am I going to modify it? Probably not, to be honest with you guys. I just want to invest all my time and money towards, towards that. And I honestly want to want to do it well and just basically maintain it good i probably will splurge and do something to it but don't hold it against me because I, I probably won't do that but going back to the xrs um and the reason i've been hiding is just it's just work family um the worldwide you know what's going on as far as the sickness you know disease of what's going on um 
and the only thing I need to do left is th that set of calipers that you see right there it's for the front passenger side this is for the rear um, I'm currently dremeling all this nice and detailed this is the dremel I'm using so prep work is number one key and believe me guys I am recording this I want to show you guys how I'm doing it but just I'm basically doing this video just to let you guys know what I've been up to and I haven't been posting so calipers are almost done um, I should have done it a while back ago well, actually you know what in, in my self defense I really didn't think about it but I was telling my brother yesterday that while all the work I've been doing excuse me on the weekends and working on this thing being parked I should have sent out the ECU for a reflash but in my self-defense I'm barely thinking about this in my self-defense the reason I didn't do it is for the fact that you know all this chaos has been going on and knowing that all the packages have been being delayed as far as the USPS Postal Service um, UPS FedEx uh, you name it everything's being delayed so now that everything's kind of going back to the norm not completely but going there um, I will will definitely be sending out my ECU so you get a reflash for the fact that I deleted the air injection system and I cannot hit lip for that reason the other things that I want to mention to you guys is that in Instagram I posted that I got a tranny mount from my local parts store uh, it's called Morales but you're part of, part of parts plus and I got uh, poly polyurethane insert bushings for the for the mount actually all the mounts for the XRS but it doesn't seem like it's quite right I mean yeah in the worst situation it should be pressed oh by the way you know like hit myself pretty bad right there um, in a way I mean worst comes to worst I could probably press this, this in but it kind of seems like it doesn't have the same shape and I told the guy from the parts store is like hey so I did the research on, on that part number and it seems like that part number is a part number for a C59 tranny which is a regular manual 5 speed transmission from a Corolla and I have the XRS model with the 2ZZ the 6 speed the C60 and he was arguing with me and I was like no it's the same one maybe it's the same one maybe it's designed differently but I did some research through O'Reilly's and I might do that soon. Go to O'Reilly's, tell them to pull this part number and see if the correct C60 tranny mount is the same as the C59 tranny mount. I mean, the bolt holes are the same, but the design of the, of the, uh, of the bushing is different. So I'm gonna do the research because it, it doesn't seem like it doesn't wanna go in. So I got to do that. <clears throat> the other thing that I've got already is a magnetic oil drain plug for the transmission. As you can see, a drill bit is stuck to it because of the magnet. Um, a speed source clutch slave cylinder uh, extended a uh, push rod. So I got that and that is pretty much it what i've been going on this right here is so it's for my wife's truck in which uh her power steering system is leaking through the hoses so i gotta replace the uh low pressure hoses that's a different story so yeah i just been busy trying to organize my garage and it just seems like i just can't organize it because I'm doing one project after another. But hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is keeping their minds busy. If not, try to do something to keep your minds busy. And uh, if anybody out there needs some type of a friend or, or advice and is going through a hard time through this crisis that, that we're going on, 
feel free to hit me up on my Instagram at oldplayable2zz and see how I could help. Um, so just thought I should be conscious about everybody because um, not everybody's fortunate to to be living a okay life, I would say. But we all got to count our blessings because for the fact that we're grateful. I'm sure everybody could say the same thing, but we're better, better off than any other people out there, if that makes sense. So I'm going to wrap it up real quick for you guys so I won't get boring. And I will be posting soon of how to paint your wheel calipers so you guys could have an idea how to do it if you decide to do it. Um, it's coming out pretty good. The only thing I would suggest is um, if you're cleaning, obviously these guys you gotta use a uh, degreaser degreaser which i will mention mention to you guys and once you start sanding i decided to use some white paint for the fact that the color that i'm using right now doesn't hide very well and it shows the metals even after multiple coats so my solution to that was just painted white first but there's primers out there i just spaced it out really really bad i should have used the primer but it's actually holding up pretty good even though this is not a primer it's a finishing coat followed by the top coat of my color choice it's coming out pretty good and I could do the nail test right here and it doesn't come out it doesn't peel out as much as I'm pretty rough to do the nail test and trying to scrape it out it it holds up pretty good so I'm a I'm gonna post the videos for for you guys a how-to video how to do that and personally it's it look it's looking pretty good and I can't wait to post some pictures on that and put some nice poses here and there and show that off so looking forward to that so running out of breath here if you guys need somebody to talk to feel free hit me up on my IG and I'll be more than happy to answer and be a friend to you guys if you know if anybody needs to talk with all this crisis that's going on so um again i'll be posting a video soon on the brake calipers and you know other stuff and goodies i have going on i'm on top of the tune i'll be doing that soon so um it'll help me out a lot if you guys could share like subscribe to the video and subscribe to the channel and um yeah it'll greatly me greatly help me out in the long run so greatly appreciate it you guys take care stay safe and wash your hands thanks guys